Hello guys and welcome to TG on the Game Nerd the Show. Where I talk about role play games and today we're going to be playing Undertale. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and fought against Asgor and Photoshop Flowey, and we actually escaped the underground. But Flowey let us know that there is a way that we could possibly get a better ending. And so in this episode, we've went back to our save file right before we fought Asgore, and we're heading back. So Flowey uh, mentioned to us that if we went back to see Alfie is at her lab, we could have been better friends with her. And so hopefully we can talk to her over there and maybe see if we can start this thread of getting a better ending. So now we just got to retrace our steps and I'll meet you back when something happens. Oh, and I think, are these elevators? Yeah, these elevators are usable. So now we can head right on over here and we're right back here. Ooh, we got a call. Hey, uh, this is Undyne. Shut up, Papyrus. This was your idea. Human, you have to deliver something for me. Uh, please? I'm at Snowden in front of Papyrus's. See ya, punk. So yeah, not only do we want to go ahead and talk to Alfie's, but we also want to... This is still... Yeah, okay. We also want to go ahead and head on over to Snowden and talk to Undyne. So we're going to go ahead and do that first. Tra -la, la care for a ride? Let's hop on in and head on to Snowden. What wisdom does the river person have for us today? Tra -la, la you can never have too many hot dogs. Sadly, that's not true. <laughs> Come again sometime. Tra -la, la So now we're back in Snowden and we want to head on over to right over here where we last saw Undyne. Um, so, I have a favor to ask you. Uh, I... I need you to deliver this letter to Dr. Alfie's. Huh? Why don't I do it myself? Um, well... It's kind of personal, but we're friends, so... I'll t tell you. Hotland sucks. I don't want to have to go over there. So here you go. You got Undyne's letter. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much. You're the best. Undyne writes a lot of letters, but she can never seem to find the right words. So when she goes to deliver them herself, she always quits so she can go back and rewrite. That's why she asked you, because you have no standards. Hey, I... Okay, I guess technically when he was talking about standards previously, it was about his standards for a per. Anyway, this might actually be the last time we see the river person because we just have to do this and then I'm not sure we have to do much else after that so let's see what the last piece of wisdom the river person has for us is tra la la eat a mushroom every day why then I know you're listening to me. <laughs> I forget if we've gotten that one before, but either way, it's a pretty funny one. Come again sometime. Tra la la. I don't know if we'll be able to do that. You know, we might get to see him one more time, but I don't know. Anyways, it seems like the stars sort of aligned for us because we were going to head to Alfie's anyway. But we're also getting this out of the way for Undyne, so that's nice. The door is no mail slot. Slide the letter under? Yeah. You slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. Oh, no. Is that another letter? I don't want to open it. Can't I just slide it back out? No. I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. 
Um, it's, it's that kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. Hey, if this is a joke, it's... Oh my god, D did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have... Oh my god, oh no. That's adorable. And I had no idea you, um, wrote that way. It's surprising, too, after all the gross stuff I did. I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less, um, this. And so passionately, too. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. N yeah, let's go on a date. I'm sorry, I'm still getting dressed. How do I look? My friends helped me pick up this dress. She's a great, she's got a great sense of, um, anyway, let's do this thing. Dating start. Hey, hey, wait. Actually, we still can't start the date yet. Dating stop? Um, I've got to give you items to raise your affection statistic first. That'll increase your chance of a successful outcome to the date, right? Anyway, don't worry, I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a day like this. Frank, I've got, um, some metal armor polish. Um, maybe you can't use that. But, I also bought some waterproof cream for your scales. Your, uh, scales. Uh, well, how about this magical spear repair kit that I, um, Hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the date. Dating start. Yeah, let's, uh, date. Uh, do you like anime? I don't personally have anything against the medium. I'll just say yes to make you happy. Hey, me too. Hey, let's go somewhere. But where's a good place to go on a date? I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. Here we are. This is where Undyne and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. Heh, <laughs> she's really, uh... Oh no, that's her over there. I can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because, I. Uh, well... Oh no, here she comes. Hey, there you are. I, uh, realized if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Huh? You don't have it? Ah. Have you at least seen her? Yeah. Yes? So she's somewhere around here? Thanks, I'll keep looking. Oh my god. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. I just figured, you know, it'd be fun to go on like a cute kind of pretend date with you to make you feel better. Well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. I'm sorry, I messed up again. And I'm the person I, um, really want to go on a date with. But I mean, she's way out of my league. Not that you aren't, um, cool, but Undyne, she's so confident and strong and funny. And I'm just a nobody, a fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lies, she thinks I'm, she thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll, she'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? Tell her the truth. The truth? But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? Or a truth where neither of us are? They say be yourself, but I don't really like who myself is. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. <laughs> no, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared what will happen if people learn their truth on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undyne the t truth? I don't have the confidence. 
I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? I'm gonna choose all the funny answers, so obviously let's roleplay. Roleplay? <laughs> that actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, which one of us will be on Dime? Uh, okay, I just looked it up, and I think the... Uh, I think both of these are hilarious, but I'll go with the you'll be on Dime. Me? On Dime? Uh, uh, I'm a, uh, okay. I'll say what I think, I think he'd say, and you, um, you show me what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> yeah, hey, Alfie, you look cute today. Which I say often, but platonically, because I would never like you. <laughs> Yo, you're one hot, hot baby. What? Uh, Alfie, what's gotten into you? Hot baby? How dare you call me that? First off, I'm a baby knight, captain of the baby. Treat my position with respect or I will strike you down. Uh, now pretend I'm suplexing a boulder for no reason. Um, anyway, what do you want to say, Alfie? Alfie's gives you a kiss. What? I would never- Alfie, what are you doing? I say, pushing you away from me. You shouldn't kiss me. But you're so good at it because of what you learned from those dating video games. I, I can't help but kiss you back. Yeah, yeah. I'm Undyne, and I'm piling on the smooches. What did you just say? Uh, I'm dying. I would just... Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, yes. I mean, uh, no. I mean, we were, but I mean, actually, we were only romantically role-playing with you. What? I mean, I mean, and I, and I, I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well, everything. I told you that seaweed looked like scientifically important, really, I did you didn't. Alfie's. I, I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool. That I wasn't some nerdy loser. Alfie's. Undyne, I, I really think you're neat, okay? Alfie's. Shh. Alfie's. I, I think you're neat too, I guess. But you've got to realize, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all of that stuff isn't just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate and analytical. It doesn't matter what it is. You care about it. 100% of maximum power. So, you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. Alphys, I want to help you become who happy with who you are. And I know just the training you need to do that. And I, you, you're gonna train me? What? Me? Nah, I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it. Get those bones shaken. It's time to jog a hundred laps hooting about how great we are. Ready? I'm about to start the timer. And I, I'll do my best. Oh my god, she was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics, those are all still real, right? Anime's real, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I knew it! Gigantic swords, magical princesses, here I come! Uh, thanks for taking care of Alfie's. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but, uh, things seem like they're going to get better for her. Well, I gotta go catch up with them. Later. That was certainly an experience. Uh, yeah, you can tell Undyne that anime anime isn't real, but that just disappoints her, and you know, I'm trying to be best friends with everyone here. Let's go ahead and save there. Wading our way through the water when suddenly, howdy! If it isn't my good friend who trusts me, this is Papyrus. 
you're also a mutual friend. Elfies and I finished our training early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. Uh, now, I feel strongly and for no apparent reason, you should also go there to her lab house. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. Alrighty then, let's head on over to Hotland again. So yeah, we will be going to... We're, we are going to see the river person again. Hopefully it's not a repeat line. And hey, for the last time we get the uh, cat boat. Hotland. Tralala, la what's inside an acorn? It's really just a mystery. Alrighty then. That's the kind of weird dialogue that I'd expect, so it's great that we got to see that as our last, you know, our last bit of dialogue from the river person. I'm not going to save right there because I want to go inside first. We walk into the lab and we have... We have the Metaton hole, but we also have this note on the ground, and the door to this, what we thought was a bathroom, is open. It's a note from Alfie's. Read it? Yeah. It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey, thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me. But, as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore, and for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear, this isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, enter the door to the north of this note. You all at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. And in the next episode, what we're going to go ahead and do is walk in there and s learn the truth. Thank you guys so much for watching, and then in the next episode, like I just said, we're gonna do a lot of stuff and get a lot closer to the ending. I think we'll probably have uh, one more episode after this current episode where we go inside there, and then the episode after that, I believe, will be the finale. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye